You ready? We rolling, we rocking? Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's the biggest boss in the game, Ricky Rose. And I'm going to count down a few of the most important events in my life that made me the biggest boss that I am today. Number five. Okay, number five, I'm gonna keep this clean as possible, short as possible, brief as possible. Growing up in the inner city of Miami, I remember two of the older G's in the projects got into an argument which led into a fist fight. The, the dude that we, that everybody assumed was gonna win, he actually lost. And the dude that won, no one would imagine um, would win. That was one of those that stuck in Rose mind and respect everybody equally and deal with them all the same. We're continuing the countdown. Here's number four. Number four, this has to be my quest as a young athlete, young football player beginning in the ninth grade, ultimately leading up to me making All City my senior year. It was something I really wanted to accomplish. I didn't have nobody after hours school giving me training and you know all that other extra shit. It was just something that I wanted. And I think that was one of the first physical testimonies of my passion and where it could take me. Like, yo, you made all city. You the best offensive lineman that plays center in the whole county, a day county, and you know. The best football players in the world uh, come from Dade County, and hopefully all other football players everywhere else will take offense to that. I pretty much at that time knew I could become anything I wanted to be. Here's event number three. Event number three for the biggest boss, Ricky Rose, has to be when I signed my very first record deal, my very first major record deal, my very first major record deal, seven figures. Of course, there was a huge bidding war. Of course, I sat down with L.A. Reid and Jay-Z. Phone rings, it's going down in a major way. Same dude that they didn't see the vision three years ago, three years prior, four years prior, five years prior, they thought it was a joke. Seven figures. The advance, the percentages, none of that shit really didn't matter. That was really the small talk. Just getting that opportunity. I released my debut album, Port of Miami, classic. Biggest boss, I told him what I was coming to do. Every day I'm hustling. I haven't took a day off since. It's the big boss, Ricky Rose, we continuing the countdown. Here we are, number two. We take y'all to these Kara City streets and you know, I may have seen worse, but we're going to leave it here. This is the night that actually made online. 21 shots fired into my Rolls Royce after I celebrated my birthday party. Now, that's when you decide, do you take your foot off the gas or do you tap the brakes? Or do you turn up and say, guess what? I'm finna invest more into the streets. This year, I'm starting five new business ventures. <laughs> As we, we, come into, we come into the end of the five most important events that helped mold me into the boss I am today, and we have to end number one, setting your goals, not stopping. We got to make sure we end it on uh, just making sure we letting the youngsters know that. Take it from Rosé. Whatever it is you want to become, you could be. Wherever you at right now, if you picking up garbage, if you sweeping, mopping, if you're on the top of a hot ass roof pouring tar in the summertime and the tar is 180 degrees, whatever it is you're doing, I just need you to understand and know that success on the largest scale is so realistic. It's so realistic. Thank you for having me. Make sure you pick up, of course, Perfect Day to Boss Up, the 10 Boss Commandments. Yo, I'm just giving you game. I'm giving you ex lessons from the experiences I've witnessed over the last 20 years or more. Thank you for having me.